place is uh, beautiful. If they could just drop the price by 50%, it would be perfect. Like. Subscribe. Click the bell, please. Thank you. All right, so that's my hotel right there, the little round one. I'm right out by, basically right across the street from the beach. So I'll head out here tomorrow, spend some time in the swim in the ocean in a while since El Nido at least. So it's good to, uh, good to see something different, or different, but the price is obviously much, much higher than uh, the Philippines. Uh, but you get a much different uh, infrastructure level, I guess. And crowd. The size of this tree is amazing. I think it's the roots. This thing is huge. There's a car, there's a truck. That's the size of the tree. And this is the prep for the block party tonight. The Pan Asian or Pan, I have to go check what the name of it is. Pan Pacific. It's called the Pan Pacific Festival. And the road's pretty much closed down. Everybody's still setting up. So I think it starts later tonight. So I'm going to grab some food, go back, rest a little bit, then head out. Test check. One, two, one, two. Looks like Asia. So that looks like the end of it right there. That's where they're diverting all the traffic, sending them around. They're still setting up all over the place. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> try and catch some food if I can. Some place is already open, but if not, I'll have to go find somewhere or I'll come back later. Okay, eggs and things. Um, this is the special omelet. It comes with pancakes and they got guava, coconut, and maple syrup. And I think I'm gonna make it for sunset. I'm heading out to this little pier out here to see if I can catch it. Some pretty serious uh, god rays. Yeah, so I definitely see the appeal. I mean, that gigantic tree. You can walk along the beach forever. I guess this is kind of like some of the other beach towns in the U.S. Oh, I wish the Philippines had more of this, where most of the stuff was centered around the beach. Um, they do a few places like it, but it's, it seems like some of their best beach towns don't really emphasize the beauty of their beach. Um, an example would be like Dumaguete, right on the beach. Beautiful area, but... Well, I guess there really is no beach. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's really cool. There's a lot of people, like families, hanging out um, with like big, uh, not like picnic, but they have blankets set up, tents, and they're grilling out. So it's kind of cool. We used to do something like that back in Wisconsin. Um, I'm like the second oldest of 30 plus cousins. Uh, so we would cook out or grill out in the summer. My grandmother would say, okay, all the aunts and uncles bring your families here. And uh, so we would go there and as kids, it was like the most fun. Cause we'd go to one of the lakes or we'd go to one of the relatives house and it was just a big free for all for you know, the day. So it kind of reminds me of that where everybody's going to the lake. There's a place, the lake that was similar where we'd go, I'll go on. It's something like this where everybody would go grill out. And that's kind of what I remember. So it's nice. This place is uh, beautiful. If they could just drop the price by 50%, it would be perfect. And a little farther down the road. Protesters over here, up here. Definitely much more crowded than when I first got here. The lines at the food places are huge. Alright, I've been fighting the crowd for a while now, so I'll probably do a little bit more than head back. I've been up for about 18 hours now, about 22 hours now. She looks a little shy in the shape. It's like seven in the morning. They dropped this at my by my door. I'm heading out to get some coffee. So this is the line for the breakfast place in the morning. I walked right in in the afternoon, but it's uh, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, I definitely recommend hitting it in the evening. I'm walking to the coffee place I saw yesterday. I checked it out on uh, a Google, and the reviews are excellent. So it's probably expensive. Coffee place, first thing back there. Having a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, so I'm walking to find another ATM. This place looks like it's an old hotel. Got a beach towel from the hotel. Now I'm heading out. Gonna spend some time swimming in the ocean. Haven't had a chance to get out here yet. Waikiki Beach. And this is must be like the kitty area. It's all blocked off from the, the waves. So I'm gonna head over to the other side. All right, I'm coming from over there. 
That's the hotel, the, the Circle Hotel. I guess it's pretty old. It's been there for a while. Some of the commenters were saying they stayed there back in the uh, I think it was 70s and 80s. Um, they show us a little history of the hotel up on there, or right by the check-in. So yeah, it's a weekend, so it's definitely crowded. I'm only here for like another another day. I'm going out to meet my sister in a while. Um, it's nice. Prices are definitely kicking my ass, kicking my budget's ass. But uh, I kind of expected it, so I budgeted that in. I'll be hanging out for a couple months um, with minimizing minimizing expenses. Yes, if I stay on budget, I can pretty much travel all year. But if I do stuff like this, it sets me back a couple months. Uh, <laughs> but I knew that, again. Yeah, it's nice. Got to find some spot with shade. Of course, I didn't bring a hat. If you like the video, click the like button. Or go to the comment section and tell me what you would do different. So I was looking for a spot in the shade, but that might have been a bit optimistic. I'm just walking out here for a swim. Jay kept the uh, the floaty handle in her bag, so I'm going with the normal handle. So we actually had a bunch of friends who did surfing in Daytona Beach. Um, quite a few guys from Hawaii, or from California uh, and some guys from Asia. Went to uh, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and uh, I had a jet ski, believe it or not. <laughs> I, did a, I did a military move from Alaska to uh, Daytona Beach when I was coming out of the, uh, the military for the first time. I was on a green to gold scholarship. Basically, the military paid for me to go to school, and then I had to go back in as an officer. Um, so I took that scholarship, and I moved myself from Fairbanks, Alaska, Fort Wainwright, down to Embry Riddle in Daytona Beach, Florida, with a truck and uh, some stuff. And I made enough money to buy, basically, pay for my apartment for a year, pay for my housing for a year, or buy a jet ski. And of course, what I picked, I, I purchased a jet ski uh, when I was in Daytona. So all the surfing guys would ask me to tow them out. When the hurricanes would come through, all, they would all go surfing. I would go out there and I would tow them out past the breakers so they could get in. Um, plus, it was, yeah, it was great having a, having a jet ski in Daytona while going to college during spring break had, a, had its advantages with the females too. There's always somebody who wanted a, a ride on the, on the jet ski. I'm actually stepping on a rock here. So I forgot while I was, <laughs> I was telling that story. So surfing, I've actually tried my hand at surfing before. Um, all those guys that were surfers from California and wherever else, uh, they would always have me try and surf. So I did it for a while. I got, you know, I got up a few times. It was fun, but I never, never found it as fun as jet skiing in the waves. Uh, we used to jump. Once the waves got over five feet, the factory riders from sea and Yamaha would come out and we would they would jump the waves and we basically started jumping waves with them. Me and a few other guys with jet skis. So that was a lot of fun. I had a Yamaha Wave Blaster 2. That was back before they made them stabilize. We'd actually lean it like a, kind of like a water bike. Look at the original Wave Blasters. That was the original hull that I used to have. Again, super fun. Anyway, so surfing's fun, but I never, never got into it as much as some of the other guys did. I basically have the pole plugged into my pants. So the camera's up there, like him. I think the ladies are practicing for uh, tonight. They're setting up. It was packed last night with people watching them. Like Hawaiian shirts. But uh, someone I know doesn't like my fashion at all. So I've actually always liked uh, Hawaiian shirts. I had one in a, when I was in college. I had a uh, girl in a bikini riding a, uh, 
it was a it was a hot dog bun with a large hot dog and she was riding it like a horse and i had that shirt for about two years and then uh we were we were at burn castle's fest house on daysuna beach and i ended up changing shirts with some guy that was with me uh, that i lived with no idea why but it ended up losing after that i never saw that shirt again so he apparently lost it that night it was some kind of shirt changing challenge i don't know um anyway so that, that was one of my favorite shirts uh, i've always liked hawaiian shirts but i can't seem to uh buy or bring myself to buy another one and jay hates them of course i think if i wasn't so lazy i would probably do a uh a Philippines budget video in Hawaii. Of course, I'm not sure I could take it. This morning I spent... This morning I spent $18 on a sandwich, a water, and a coffee for breakfast. And I realized I gotta get off uh, Waikiki Beach if I'm gonna feed myself. So I was walking around through these hotels down a closed road. They said public beach access. So I ended up walking out this way. It's kind of between two hotels. The sidewalk was closed all the way. There's quite a few people out here now. Okay, got it. Boat building. I've seen a few of these tours. Yes, there's quite a few of these. Diamond head behind the boat. I know you're gonna, Jay, I know you're gonna watch this. So, this is my store right here. And that is the first H&M I've seen outside of the Philippines. This is some kind of uh, mall and food courts area. Just found it. Probably cheaper than where I've been eating. These trees are just amazing. I've, uh, I didn't bring the GoPro. I brought this camera instead because I've been relying on the GoPro too much. Not too much, but it's too much my favorite. And this is definitely better at night. Just out for a walk, taking some random pictures. Damn it, I'm trying to get it to focus. So it's a Saturday night. Um, pretty early still, but definitely kicking on Waikiki Beach. I'm not sure if there's anything other than dinner and the beach, but I'm sure I just haven't found it.